Hello, cricket enthusiasts. The tension is palpable. The air is thick with anticipation as fans from both sides eagerly await the outcome of this crucial match. The stadium is buzzing with excitement and you can feel the energy radiating from the stands. It's a perfect day for cricket and the stakes couldn't be higher. The second ODI between Bangladesh and Afghanistan is upon us. Both teams are ready to give it their all. Knowing that this match could very well determine the direction of the series, the players are lined up, the national anthems have been sung, and now it's time for the action to begin. Afghanistan pulled off a stunning victory in the first match. It was a nail-biter. The game went down to the wire, with both teams fighting tooth and nail for every run. In the end, it was Afghanistan who emerged victorious, much to the delight of their fans. Their performance was nothing short of spectacular, showcasing their skill, determination and resilience. The series hangs in the balance, with Afghanistan leading 1-0. Bangladesh knows that they must win this match to stay in contention. The trophy is still up for grabs, and both teams are determined to claim it. The pressure is immense, and every decision, every play could make the difference between victory and defeat. Bangladesh, playing on home turf, are hungry for a win. The support from the home crowd is unwavering and the players are determined to make their fans proud. They have been working hard in the nets, strategizing and preparing for this crucial encounter. The team knows that they have the talent and the capability to bounce back and level the series. They need to level the series. The pressure is on. Can they deliver? The players are aware of the expectations and the weight of the moment. They have been in this position before and know what it takes to perform under pressure. The question is, can they rise to the occasion and deliver a performance that will keep their hopes alive? Afghanistan, on the other hand, are brimming with confidence. They have tasted victory. The team is riding high on the momentum of their previous win and they believe that they can replicate their success. Their practice sessions have been intense and the players are focused and determined to maintain their winning streak. They believe they can win again. The confidence in the camp is palpable and the players are ready to give it their all. They know that another victory will seal the series in their favor and they are determined to make it happen. The team spirit is high and the players are motivated to perform at their best. The momentum is with them. The fans are behind them and the players are feeding off that energy. They have the advantage, but they also know that they cannot afford to be complacent. Every match is a new challenge and they are prepared to face it head on. But can they handle the pressure of being the favorites? The expectations are high and the pressure is immense. The captain and the team management have been working on strategies to ensure that the players stay focused and composed. They know that they need to execute their plans to perfection to come out on top. This match promises to be a cracker. With so much at stake, both teams are expected to bring their A game. The fans are in for a treat with thrilling moments, intense battles and edge of the seat action. It's going to be a contest that will be remembered for a long time. Let's settle in and enjoy the contest. Grab your snacks, find a comfortable spot and get ready for an exhilarating ride. This is cricket at its finest and you won't want to miss a single moment. The stage is set, the players are ready and the excitement is building. Let's watch as this epic battle unfolds. Bangladesh won the toss and chose to bat. The decision was met with a mix of anticipation and excitement from the fans. The pitch looked perfect for batting and the conditions seemed ideal for a high-scoring game. The captain's decision was clear. Set a formidable target and put the opposition under pressure. A solid start is crucial. The openers knew the importance of laying a strong foundation. They took their time assessing the pitch and the bowlers. The first few overs were all about getting their eye in and ensuring they didn't lose early wickets. They need to post a challenging total. The scoreboard pressure can be a significant factor in such matches. The openers were aware that a good start would set the tone for the rest of the innings. They aimed to build partnerships and rotate the strike efficiently. The openers walked out to the middle, greeted by a roaring crowd. They began cautiously, respecting the bowlers and the conditions. The crowd's energy was palpable and every run was cheered with enthusiasm. The openers focused on building a steady platform. The Afghan bowlers were disciplined. They kept it tight, not giving away easy runs. Their line and length were impeccable, making it difficult for the batsmen to score freely. 
The bowlers stuck to their plans, aiming to create pressure and force mistakes. The Bangladesh batsmen struggled to break free. The tight bowling and fielding made it challenging to find gaps. Then came the breakthrough. A well-set batsman was dismissed and the pressure was back on Bangladesh. The team needed someone to step up and take charge. Light and Das took the attack to the bowlers. He played with intent and aggression, looking to change the momentum. His shot selection was impeccable and he found the gaps with ease. Lighten's approach was exactly what Bangladesh needed at that moment. He smashed a few boundaries, injecting momentum into the innings. The crowd erupted with every shot, sensing a shift in the game's dynamics. Lighten's aggressive batting put the bowlers on the back foot, and the runs started to flow more freely. This was the start they were hoping for. The team rallied around Leighton's performance, and the confidence in the camp grew. The middle order looked to capitalise on the platform set by the openers and light on. Partnerships were key and the team aimed to build on the momentum. Would this be the platform for a big score? The scoreboard reflected a promising position, but there was still work to be done. The team knew that a strong finish was essential to set a challenging target. The focus was on maintaining the run rate and keeping wickets in hand for a final assault in the death overs. The stage was set for an exciting finish and the fans were on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next phase of the innings. Lighten Das was looking dangerous. His eyes were set and his bat was doing all the talking. Every shot he played seemed to pierce the field effortlessly and the crowd could sense something special was on the cards. He was threatening to take the game away from Afghanistan. With each boundary, the pressure on the Afghan bowlers mounted. They tried different lengths and lines, but Lighton seemed to have an answer for everything. His aggressive approach was a clear statement of intent. But just when it seemed like he was setting up for a big innings, he got out. A soft dismissal. It was a tame end to what could have been a match-defining knock. The disappointment was palpable, not just on Lighton's face, but among the fans and his teammates. It was a moment that could have changed the course of the game. Was this the turning point? The Afghan players certainly thought so. They celebrated with gusto, knowing they had removed a key player. The energy on the field shifted dramatically and the Afghan team looked rejuvenated. Did Bangladesh miss a trick by not capitalizing on the start? The early momentum was in their favor, but they seemed to have let it slip. The middle order needed to step up. They had to build on the foundation laid by Lytton, but they faltered. The middle order batsmen walked to the crease with a sense of responsibility. They knew the importance of their roles. The stage was set for them to anchor the innings and steer the team to a competitive total. But the pressure seemed to get to them. They had to build on the foundation, but they faltered. The Afghan bowlers tightened their grip and the Bangladeshi batsmen struggled to find their rhythm. Wickets fell at regular intervals, the momentum shifted. Each dismissal was a blow to Bangladesh's hopes. The Afghan fielders were electric and their bowlers executed their plans to perfection. Afghanistan were right back in the game, their confidence grew with each wicket. The belief in their camp was evident and they sensed an opportunity to turn the tide in their favour. Was this a case of poor shot selection? The Bangladeshi batsmen seemed to be in two minds. They played some rash shots, which led to their downfall. The pressure of the situation got to them, and they couldn't handle it. Or was it clever bowling by the Afghans? Their bowlers were smart and used the conditions to their advantage. They varied their pace and lengths, making it difficult for the batsmen to settle. It was a masterclass in strategic bowling. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think was the key factor in this phase of the game? Was it the brilliance of the Afghan bowlers or the poor shot selection by the Bangladeshi batsmen. We would love to hear your opinions and analysis. Join the conversation and let us know your take on this intriguing contest. Bangladesh finished their innings with a competitive total. It wasn't a walk in the park, but it wasn't insurmountable either. Afghanistan chasing a target knew they had a fight on their hands. They started cautiously. The Bangladesh bowlers were on the money. The openers struggled to get going. Wickets in hand were crucial at this stage. The pressure was building. Could Afghanistan chase this down or would Bangladesh's bowlers prevail? Section 5.